Hey everybody, it's Kurt. I want to thank everybody for being here for the first Sunday chat with Kurt Q&A, questions and answers. And uh, this is going to be real exciting. Uh, we're going to have some answers and uh, everybody's going to just get to rolling really well with this. So let's, let's just get right into it. Okay, so Kurt, the first question comes from YouTube and it is John V. Orm. Thanks, Kurt. Great stuff. I also do morning my devotions first thing before my workout. I do have a question. There is there a certain time in the evening that you stop eating for the day, and do you just do you ever skip any meals? Thanks for the videos. For the first part of the question, uh, I like to. It doesn't. Every day it doesn't work out like that. Depending on you know life's going to come at you, but. Uh, the timing that I like to use is about two hours before I go to bed should be my last meal. And then throughout the day, depending on my schedule, how, you know, however busy I am, um, it like everything that I'm eating right now is every number has a place. So it's, it's running on a tight line. So the big thing with that is, is that I don't really, worry about okay every day i'd eat two every two and a half hours two and a half hours something happens and i can't i just combine that meal with my next one i keep rolling because that 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 uh consumption those that caloric and those um everything that you're taking in it's going to be distributed very quickly because your body's ready to absorb okay awesome okay so the next question is from facebook and it's from josh carey rose and this question came on your supernatural back training. The question is, well, there's a comment, mind and muscle connection, but I have trouble focusing because of ADHD and anxiety. Any tips on how to focus better? And also supplements, question mark. Okay, okay. To focus better, I just wanna share with you what I do, and it works very, very well, okay? There's nothing more powerful than the Word of God, all right? So 2 Timothy 1, 7 says that I have given you a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind, okay? I would write that scripture down, keep it in my pocket, and through my day, I would continually speak that, speak that over yourself. And what happens is that, that word, that word right there will renew your mind. It will renew your thought process, okay? To where whatever you're doing, you'll be able to be there and executing whatever you're doing and being able to focus. Supplement-wise, what I recommend is NRG, natural guarana, okay? Very natural substance, and it's a, it's a good, uh, as a matter of fact, I take, I take guarana every morning uh, as soon as I get up. And it's, it's a, what it, what it's uh, the beauty of it is it's time release, but that's a good natural substance uh, substance to do, and uh, just get that going, man. Get back with me and just uh, share with me how that's working for you. Awesome. Okay, the next question. It's really more of a comment. Uh, there's a few comments that I noticed on some of the uh, some of the videos. Mm -hmm. They're asking about the competition date. Okay. In time and everything. Okay, that's um, four weeks from today, which is July the twentieth in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So July twentieth. July twentieth. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Um, Miss Cheryl Daigle, uh, she posted on Facebook and she said she just made a comment. I never realized that these workouts could do this for you, and this was on one of your uh, workout uh, regimen you know, workouts. So. Right. Yes. You wanna, would you like to just elaborate a little bit about weight training and what it does to the body? Yeah. Just um, weight training, proper weight training is, is very, is very, very good for the body. It, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it stimulates your muscles, uh, gets your, your blood flowing really well. Um, it's just, man, it, you know, when you get to going with it and you got a steady rhythm with, you know, with a certain amount of exercises and you're, you're, you're starting to, to feel what you're doing. So you just releasing endorphins in the brain, just all this, this feel good 
feel good mechanisms start to uh, come into play, you know, and you know, it's it, huge on, on circulation. So if you're, if you're, um, activating your muscle fibers and all your, your, your intensity with your, your, your weight training, then you're, you're, you're stirring up your metabolism. You know, you're stirring up your metabolism. Yeah. You're breaking some things down. You're breaking muscle tissue down and therefore, you know, your body's waiting on, okay, we want to rebuild this. So it can get gain momentum and just be better. Awesome. Okay. So the next question actually came from one of the reels on Facebook. The um, you were uh, it was the workout reel, and you were doing a 15 minute cardio warm up for I think a leg workout. And Miss Vanessa Ardwell, hey Vanessa, uh, she asked, "Is this 15 minute warm up all the cardio you do in your workout day?" And the answer to your question is yes. It's been like that for years, okay? Number one, I want to give a little bit of a, I don't know what the word to use, but- Great question, by the way. Yeah, it is a very, very good question because I get hit with that a lot of time in my everyday travels. Just, man, are you, how much cardio are you doing? This and that, no, are you serious? Yeah, so, um, but the reason why I picked the ARC trainer, Okay, look, there is nothing other than swimming. Running is next in line on just, you can knock some weight off yourself by running, okay? But I'm all about longevity and preserving my joints. So I'm not going to run. But the art trainer, you can elevate that thing to whatever is like you're, you're running bleachers or to whatever, you know, elevation you want there. Then you got resistance. So I, I chose that and I do 15 minutes because if you, if you get on that thing and you get into it and you have your hands off the handles, okay, so that's forcing your core to do exactly what you do when you're running. It, it activates your core to where if I'm on a treadmill, I'm holding something, then mainly it's all legs, okay? But if you take your hands off, then you got to balance, you got all kind of other muscles that come into play. But... That doing it 15 minutes correctly would be the same as if I would spend 30 to 35 minutes on a bike or, or a treadmill. So that's why I use it. But yes, that's 15 minutes. That's it, max. Uh, at different times, I may, um, not on my leg day and my back day, because with those muscle groups, you have it, the expenditures during those workouts. If they're done right, especially if you're gauging time between each set and every set is to a positive failure, you, your, your caloric output is, is just, it's crazy, you know. But what I used to do was after like a chest and bicep workout or shoulder and tricep, you know, if I was working calves and abs or something like that, I would go back to the arc trainer and I would do five more minutes just to spike it. And then I would, I would call it a session. But other than that, it's 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes. If, if, if you're dialed in to, your, to where you have a caloric deficit, and I'm talking about it don't have to be huge. This is baseline. You're taking in enough consumption. I'm talking about balance. I'm talking about protein, carbohydrates, and fats. It's at a balance of what you need according to your lean muscle mass. And you're here. Okay. So this is not really going to work for you as far as losing inches, losing body weight, and transforming the physique that you, that you want. But you bring that caloric deficit just under right here to where the body's drawing off of itself, you keep that in line daily. I'm talking seven days a week. That's always activated. To where when you do your cardio, it's more of a warm-up to get your blood going and you get into your workout, and it's if if time between each sets is correct, to where you have the mindset, okay, no more than thirty seconds, okay, that muscle stays warm, it stays activated, and you feel what you're doing, and your focus is there because you know you don't have many seconds, okay. That makes all the difference in the world. I'm telling you, and it even even that type of training. Will will you'll have a different look of a physique? Um, 
you know, and I know there's different strategies that people do it different ways. And, and, and look, I, they, they all work. Okay. But what I want to, I'm just sharing with works for me. And I know it works for anybody because I've taken on clients that would do the same thing and work for them. It's, uh, it's what can I do in an allotted amount of time, say an hour, that I can be most productive, most productive. That's why you hear me, you hear me say time and time again, every rep counts, every set counts, okay? And the most powerful thing, and I'm going to be doing segments of videos on this because the most powerful thing is this right here, having the mindset of before you get to the gym, knowing exactly what body parts you are going to execute. Or if you're doing a, a whole body workout, or if you're doing however you got it broken up, whatever you're going to be doing, having your mind set on it and speak what's going to happen. You, you have to dictate to yourself how this workout is going to turn out. It's not, well, let me get into it and I'll let you know how I feel. No, that's... That, that, that is no good. That is no progress. That individual is just, they waiting on something. You got to know and expect what's going to happen during your workout. And with your expectation and the right execution, you're going to get the result that you're looking for. Awesome. Well, Kirk, I think that's the last question. We had a lot of comments and encouraging words uh, on both YouTube and Yes, Facebook. and I want to... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your comments, all your kind words, because that just, that, that means everything. That means everything. I just, uh, you know, I'm doing this, and Angie and I are both just doing this to put out there to help as many people as we can with the truth, the truth of it, you know, and because truth breeds truth. You know, it's, it's, um, I'm not here to down anything that's on the outside of what I speak, but um, I just want to give the truth of everything, and I know it's going to help a lot of people, and it is helping, and as long as helping people, then I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I do. Well, look, that's a wrap for this weekend, the question and answer, but look, continue to share, to like, subscribe. If you, know, you got any loved ones, anybody that you know that needs this, there's somebody out there that needs this. Share it, man. Share it with them. And uh, look here. I'm going to see you on the next one.